Hello? I give you and all of your loved ones the experience of all that is. <sighs> hello, hello. Okay. It's the holidays and you're going to see relatives, friends, and maybe some of you are going to see somebody that is either an energy vampire or a toxic person. And, you know, of course, there's toxic people at work or at school as well. So, I'm going to teach you uh, what I know about detaching from them but also how to not attach to them as well. Okay, so the first thing is to detach from uh, anybody that has cords attached to you. There's two ways to do it. The first way that I suggest most people to do it is just ask your spirit guides. You don't have to know their names. Just say spirit guide of high vibration is what I like to say. Just to make sure. And then have them do two at a time say clear my clear negativity from my root chakra and sacral chakra um, and then wait about five minutes or you could say I'm gonna cut off from all humans and non-humans and then have them cut off the root chakra and the sacral chakra cords that is and you can't cut away pure love you can only cut away uh, codependent love um, you know twist twisted love you can't cut away the pure part of those relationships so you don't have to ever worry about that okay and then you just keep going from you know that you then you do the next two solar plexus and heart and then wait about five minutes then you do their uh, throat and third eye and then you do crown and after that you can also do uh, I do 50 feet above my head and then 50 feet below my root chakra and feet and then lastly this one's important too though uh, I do my aura so I like to say about five feet around I tell I have them clear that too a lot of people attach little junk it's like spiritual lint stuck on your aura, you know. Uh, so that's how you detach. You can experiment a quicker way, which is just do cord cutting. But a lot of people can't do this this way. But you just say, um, you put the intention, I'm going to cut off from all humans and non-humans. And then just visualize cutting at the root. And then it falls off. And then you do sacral, and then it falls off both sides, and then you just go up the line to the crown. And crown is vertical, so you do it that way. And root as well, actually. Root, it's, I think it's better to do it vertical. You lower your perineum like that. But then all the other ones, sacral, all the way to third eye, are go this way, horizontal. And then crown is vertical as well. Okay. So you can experiment with that. Maybe you'll be able to do that. Um, the second way to do it, the visualizing. Okay, but now this is very important. After you detach and uh, you're, you know, you're free generally, this is very important. Anytime somebody, even if it's just somebody at the supermarket, anytime somebody is giving you anger, for instance, do not react. That's hard to do, but just know when someone gives you anger, like F you, right? If you don't react, that cord, he's bringing you a cord. F you, right? And if you don't react, then you're, the cord's not going to attach to you. As soon as you react, F you too, you're going to attach to that person. And then now, He's giving you anger. He's also going to probably drain your energy just because you got angry. Uh, of course, there's other other thing. Anger is just fear, right? But if you get scared and shrink down, 
he's definitely going to suck energy from you because if you get scared, F you, and then you get scared, you're going to attach a cord to him when you shrink down, and then he's going to be sucking energy from you. And that's why you, uh, a lot of people are tired, you know, just in general, because they have cords going to ex-lovers and the person that yelled at them, you know, in, in the parking lot and stuff like that. So that's very important. That's why other techniques like breathing exercises, meditation, and trying to just work on being a peaceful, harmonious person inside really helps too. Because who wants to attach a cord to someone and give this random person their energy and let that person send them negativity? So you got to think about that. When you react, uh, you are dancing with them. It takes two to tango. So you think, oh, whatever, I told that guy off and then I'm driving home. But no, you're attached to that person at that point. So any, and love also attaches people. So you have to be, like I tell people, I say, don't just tell anyone I love you. You know, you have to know that when you say that, or if you really empathize with somebody, especially if you're an empathic person, you're going to attach to them. Love and negativity, this, you know, love and negativity, you know, fear, sadness, anger, these things will all attach you to the person. Uh, so, and, and once again, that's why you want to, every day after work or at night, you want to do one of those, you want to clear every time, every day. Uh, and if you feel weird or you feel like you need it or you feel tension somewhere, just try getting your spirit guides to clear it. Um, and even if that's too esoteric and woo-woo for you, or you feel like it's not helping at all, just make sure you don't, you know, get, react with anger, fear, or sadness towards somebody um, in a situation where you don't want to attach cords with that person. All right. Uh, I could get into other stuff with entities and stuff, but that doesn't, you know, we'll just leave it at that because that's practically speaking, that's all you need to know. And, you know, we'll leave it at that. All right. Thanks, guys. Take care.